and fans of the game are spread out all throughout the United States and beyond. Yesterday, one fan, Lola Switzer, got a chance to do something that a lot of baseball fans never get to do, throw out a ceremonial first pitch. Here's more on Lola, who was honored before Bemidji Youth Baseball game, and oh yeah, by the way, she's 100 years old. Lola Switzer is a 100-year-old baseball fan, and her baseball-playing great-grandson, Ethan, has one word to describe her. She is still very sharp. The word independent works as well. Lola lives in Arizona, where she takes care of herself. And even though she doesn't drive a car anymore, she improvises. I do have a golf cart, and I can go to get my hair done. <laughs> I go on the sidewalk. 35 years ago, Lola retired to Arizona, and she's since become a Diamondbacks fan. The rest of her family, of course, likes the Twins. Do they try to convert you into a Twins fan, never? Well, they kind of rub me a little bit. <laughs> her family won't be converting her anytime soon. The Diamondbacks gave her a jersey for her 100th birthday with, of course, the number 100 on the back. Lola's been a Diamondbacks fan since 1998. That's when the team first arrived in Arizona. So, of course, I had some questions to ask her to see how big of a fan she really is. I first asked, when did the Diamondbacks win their only World Series? 2000. Easy, right? Easy. That's an easy one now. <laughs> Next, I asked who they beat, and after a second, she remembered it was the Yankees. Yes, they did. I remember. <laughs> she had already answered my next question. Who had the game-winning hit? Luis Gonzalez, or better known by his nickname, Gonzo. Lola had passed my test, and earlier in the evening, she had completed another kind of test. Watch out, I might hit you. <laughs> she successfully threw out the first pitch at Ethan's baseball game. That's a shabby, pretty good heat for 100. Yeah. What do you think she threw? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Did your arm feel good out there? That's so okay. Looked like there were a lot of people that came over to take a look at it. And um, in fact, the president of our league had all the players from her great grandson's team sign the ball for her and, and stuff like that. So it was a pretty cool thing for her. With her sign ball in hand, she called it a day. And here's one more word to describe Lola Switzer. Much like the game of baseball, she's timeless. And Scott Peterson has been involved with the youth program for seven years, and that's the first time he's seen anybody throw out the first pitch at a Bemidji youth baseball game. Very cool story. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.